Well, hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do a little video this morning of a vintage piece of Bucyrus Erie machinery here that's been sitting alongside the road here for, for years. And what this is, is a, uh, a cable-operated backhoe off of a, an old Bucyrus Erie shovel. It's been sitting here since the day they took it off the shovel, probably, and outfitted the shovel, I'm guessing, with a heel boom, uh, since there were a few 30Bs around here back in the day. So this has probably been sitting here, they probably thought it was a decoration, it's been sitting here for probably, oh god, 45 years maybe, something like that. Anyway, let's take a look. So down here, this is the, the bucket, I'm going to guess it's probably a yard and a half, two yard bucket, and it looks like it's been uh, added on to. They put some half inch material here, the, uh, the stick isn't attached to the bucket, so that has to go up in there. and. Uh, Here's the, here's the pin for it right there. That's a pretty, pretty hefty piece of iron. Anyway, this was this here is how they'd adjust the bucket a little bit to give it a little more uh, lift, perhaps to close it a little bit more to hold a little more dirt in it. Uh, but anyway, let's go down here and we'll start from this end. Um, of course, this is the end of the the boom that would go on the uh, onto the shovel, and it's buried in the ground there and this basically operated with two lines one line that came up through here one off one drum line came up through here uh, and went clear down uh, underneath this little idler right there and what those were for was to catch the the lines when they were slapping up when this when they would go down so the lines wouldn't rise up I guess so that line would come down go through a shiv inside that plate there there's a big shiv in there and you can see some of those idlers right there where it, where it comes out and it would go around to the other side it would go around it would go around to the other side here come up or I'll go underneath that idler there and up over this shiv you can actually see the line still on here I guess this probably looks like seven eighths maybe uh, over this shiv and it would deadhead right there. And that operated the crowd on the stick much like the hydraulic cylinder would today, but of course it doesn't have a, uh, any way to move the bucket as uh, like a hydraulic excavator would today. Now the second line off the drum, the shovel, came up over a little gantry. There's probably a gantry that's right in here that attached right there where the boom does. It probably stuck up, stood up, oh, eight feet, I guess, six, eight feet maybe. And over that went another line down over this shiv here back back up over that gantry and back around and deadheaded right here and uh, that one operated the uh, <coughs> the boom lifted the boom and then the uh, uh, then the the other drum that we talked about a moment ago would, was the crowd that would bring the uh, bucket together now you see here there's a big piece of rubber right in here to keep that thing from banging on the uh, on the boom there when it when it came down. But anyway, that's kind of how this thing worked. Uh, a little more complicated and a little dicier to run, and not quite as quick as uh, as today's hydraulic uh, excavators are. But that was kind of one of the early versions. Now you'll see some videos of these on YouTube actually working if you want to go uh, see what they look like. But uh, this one was off a of 30B. They made these for the 10s, I think the 15s, and the 22Bs. And also, I recall that there was one that they did for uh, that fit on the back of a truck uh, that somebody around town had back in the day. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of vintage Besiris area history. If you enjoy the video, uh, please comment. Love to get your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, take care. Hope you enjoyed the video.